Hi there, my name's Todd Myhan. I'm back again with another Morning Jam gear rundown and guitar lesson video. This week I'll be talking about the Full Tone Plim Soul, my 52 reissue Telecaster, guitar strings, and diving a little deeper into my modified Fender Pro Junior, taking a look under the hood of that, showing some clips of my interview with the builder of that amp. Check out the Morning Jam every Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. So I started planning this week's Morning Jam, and it's kind of a riffy, rocky kind of thing. I was going to use my Ernie Ball Music Man Axis guitar. That was my plan. When I plugged it in, I kind of just wasn't feeling it. So I went back to the Telecaster, which I often do. I love humbuckers, but sometimes I just kind of really like the clarity of a single coil pickup with some distortion, overdrive on it from the Plimsoll. I mean, I just kind of really like that combination. Let's check out this Plimsoll pedal a little bit, put it a little more under a microscope. This is going to be the Telecaster 1952 reissue Telecaster stock pickups into the modified Fender Pro Junior. Let's listen to the pedal. Experimented with some different amps this week. I thought I might use this green handle Plexi clone. I plugged it into a Selection Vintage 30 112. I wasn't feeling it for some reason. It's a fantastic amp, but wasn't right for this thing. Then I moved on to my Pro Sonic with the same cabinet, and I still wasn't really feeling it. I think it's because the bass is so busy on this track. <laughs> just really wanted more mid-range so the pro junior with the you know with the 110 provided that and stayed out of the way of the bass it, it wasn't so kind of jumbled sounding but these are both great amps too got the pro junior mic'd up in the vocal booth this week it has a sennheiser 421 mic on it running through an api mic preamp So I've been doing some more live gigs now that things are opening up. I have a, a band called Albino Love Slaves. Yeah, it's a cover band and an instrumental duo called The Matt and Todd Show. I'm not a huge string changer. I, I'll go a long time without changing strings. Make them work as long as I can, but with, with the live gigs and stuff, I don't want to be in a situation where my strings break. So we did change the strings this week on this guy, and I used Ernie Ball 10 to 46, regular Slinky. I usually use those or, you know, Diodario. I'm not crazy picky about the strings. It does sound a lot brighter with the new strings on here, and I don't really have to worry about them uh, breaking as much generally 10 to 46 on the Telecasters. <laughs> my friend
friend Walt from Green Handle Music Company. He builds most of the amps that I play through. Uh, basically, I had a broken uh, Fender Pro Junior when I first met Walt. Well, what'd you do? Took well, apart. I think we had a look at it and decided that uh, we should start from scratch, yeah. which we did. Heavily modified, certainly in power section, and uh, there are a number of modifications for Pro Juniors on uh, the Amp Garage and other places online, and they're pretty much all incorporated in that first try. <laughs> check out this lick I did about, uh, I just looked it up, 3 minutes and 25 seconds in. <laughs> Little hybrid picking thing. Uh, I'm picking notes on the third string and I'm uh, plucking the notes on the second string with my middle finger on my right hand and then pulling off to the open B string. I'm playing over these chords. Like A sus2. E minor over A. G over A. D over A. So I'm basically following the notes in those chords. So the first section here I have playing an E, pulling off an A to an open B string. Pulling off the 12th fret B to an open B string. So. Then I'm keeping the E here on the 9th fret, 3rd string, and uh, the note I'm pulling off is now G, the 8th uh, fret of the 2nd string. And then A, the 10th fret of the 2nd string. I'm doing that same thing over the next chord. To the G over A, same thing. Then D over A. I'm keeping the E here and I'm shifting the note on the second string to F sharp and I'm pulling off to the open uh, second string again, B. And then moving to the 8th fret, G. So one more time. Cool to use the open strings when you can. Hopefully you got something out of that. Once again, it's at three minutes and 25 seconds in uh, to the video. I'll play it right now. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Leave me a comment, say hello. Check out a new Morning Jam video once again every Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. I've been trying to do these gear rundown, guitar lesson, kind of behind the scenes videos to go along with the Morning Jam each week. Also leave me a comment and let me know if you're if you're digging these or what you would like to see in them, aside from what I've been doing. I know I use this Telecaster a lot. Uh, I promise next week I'll use a different guitar and switch it up and a different amp and stuff. So try and share something new each week about the equipment and with a lesson and a story or whatever. But um, Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.